Excuse me. Hey there. Uh, not to intrude upon your privacy or anything, but I've seen you standing out here for a while, and, well, y you know, obviously, it's raining out, and you look super soaked. Uh, here, get under my umbrella for a second. Are you perhaps waiting for somebody? A silent, huh? <laughs> well, that's okay. It's okay, if you're not comfortable talking about it. I won't force you, but if you're waiting for someone and they still haven't come, then, well, if I may be brutally honest, I don't think anyone is coming for you. Oh, but I should introduce myself. Uh, my name is Vincent. Uh, you don't have to tell me yours, but I would really, really like to hear it. Oh. <laughs> Well, that's such a lovely name. I'll have to commit it to memory. I, uh, realize I shouldn't pry, but it'll just eat away at me if I don't ask, so, uh... What are you doing out here? That's horrible. I can't believe your parents just left you out here. <laughs> me. Uh, but how could they do that? As soon as they're legally able, they just toss you out like a piece of trash. You're their child. They should be giving you care and support. Not abandoning you when you're so vulnerable and so defenseless. So helpless. <laughs> this is so cool. You do need me, don't you? Do you have any friends or other family members that you can count on? Uh, anyone that can give you support or take you in. That's what I thought. It's really cold out here, you know. I can see just how much you're shivering. Here, my uh, coat is really warm. Please take it. No, I insist you take it. If you don't take it, I'm just going to throw it on the ground. There we go. I hope that helps with your cold a bit. But it's only going to do so much. It's nice and cozy at my place, you know. I've got heating and some nice warm blankets. If you're feeling up to it, maybe we could, um, talk more over there. I'm not forcing you or anything, but you don't really have any other place to go, right? <laughs> uh, my place is always open to you. I'd love to have some company. I live alone, you see, so... I'd really enjoy having someone over. You wouldn't be a bother, really. <laughs> Not like your parents felt about you. So what do you say? Wonderful. It's just a short walk to my place. So you'll be all warm and out of the rain in no time. All right. Welcome to my place. It's not much, but I hope you like it. I take real good care of the place, and... Do you feel that? <laughs> it's way warmer inside, right? Oh, sweetie. The coat I gave you. Oh, don't worry. I realize it's all wet. We'll need to get you out of it, though. Here, just throw it on the table. I'll take care of it later. Well, all of your clothes are soaked, really. You poor thing, you must feel so uncomfortable. We'll need you to get out of them. <laughs> not in front of me, obviously, sweetie. I'm not going to make you change in front of me. <laughs> I mean, I'm not going to stop you either. Huh? Oh, uh, I didn't say anything here. I'll go get you a change of clothes, all right? I have a bunch of oversized sweaters, so... At least one of them should fit you. And I think I still have some of my brother's clothes lying around. He looks about your size, so I think they'll fit you. And you know what? <laughs> I think you'd look good in them, too. I'm sure you'd look absolutely adorable in them. Though I guess you'd look cute in pretty much anything. Wow, see, sweetie? What did I tell you? 
You look absolutely adorable in these clothes. Especially the sweater. You look so cuddly and precious. I just want to drag you to my bed and cuddle you forever and ever. You're killing me with your cuteness. I just have to hug you. <laughs> you wouldn't mind, would you? If I hugged you? I'm guessing your parents never really gave you many hugs, right? They kicked you out after all. Even though you're such a sweet, sweet little angel. <laughs> but an angel like you deserves lots and lots of hugs. <laughs> you need them. Everybody needs a hug now and then. So what do you say? Would you like me to hug you? Because I would love the comfort. <laughs> I get so lonely in this house by myself. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> wow, you're such a sweet angel. Come here. <laughs> oh, my angel. Oh, you're super soft. <laughs> Yeah, I'm sure I feel great to hug my darling. And I really do care about you. <laughs> Way more than your pathetic excuse for parents ever did. Wouldn't you love to get a hug from somebody who really cares about you? <laughs> oh, darling. You poor thing. You've been so neglected. You could really, really use this. The first time you felt touch. The first time you felt warmth. And genuine care and understanding. <laughs> and love. Oh, so much love. <laughs> there we go. I knew you'd agree to hug me like this. Because you're such a good little angel. <laughs> There, there. It's okay. You're safe now. I promise you that you're safe with me. Nothing is going to hurt you. And nothing is going to take you away from me. It's okay to cry if you want. I'm here for you. It's okay. It's okay. There, there. It's all right. <laughs> I was right, wasn't I? Don't I feel amazing? Doesn't it feel so good to hug me? To have warm, comfort, and security. <laughs> I feel like I was made to hug you. Not just that, though. I feel like I was brought into this world just to take care of you. You're such a good, good little darling. There's no way I can resist. It's just my instinct. I want to see you smile when you eat breakfast I make. I want to see you smile when I get you another gift for the millionth time. There are so many meaningful memories. The life I could give you. But they never could. I want to make you mine. Those are just my urges. What? You look confused. Why, it's because I love you. <laughs> How could I not? You're such a good, good little angel. Even if others don't recognize that, well... <laughs> there, there. <laughs> I feel kind of neglected too, you know. Let me tell you something. I used to manage... The office of that store you always visited. But they fired me after the security girl reported me to HQ for always pestering her for the security footage of you. Can you blame me? What kind of woman in her right mind would report somebody just for gazing at their love? Is that a crime? Everyone in the office called me a creep. You don't think I'm a creep, right? Not like they think. And they think that 
even though they're my friends. Well, were my friends. I don't really have any friends anymore since all my old friends laughed at me and ridiculed me. But now I <laughs> manage a smaller office with the most double the salary. And so who's laughing now? <laughs> and all I had to do was step on the backs and bones of all those that laughed at me. And you don't mind, right? That I was watching you from before. You're a good angel, so I'm sure you don't mind. There's no way I couldn't be obsessed with you. You are the most pure and precious thing in the entire world. I was made for loving an angel like you. And what's the problem? You know me now, don't you? And you love me enough to hug me, so it's not a problem now, is it? I'm not a creep. Now am I? I'm perfectly in the right here. I'm perfectly in the right to give you everything you need, everything you've ever wanted. To give you the love that you've deserved, the love you have never had. <laughs> to give you tender care, to take care of your every need and want and desire. I'd do anything for you, anything. <laughs> hey, sweetie. I really meant it when I said I want to drag you to my bed and cuddle you forever and ever, embrace your warmth with my body. What do you say we take this little Plugging session to my bedroom. I'm sure you'd like it there. The bed is almost as soft and delicate as you are. I'm sure you'd be more comfortable there. And I need to do everything in my power to make you feel comfortable. So what do you say? Would you like to take this to the uh, <laughs> next level? Oh, sweetie. I knew it. You really are a good angel. And more importantly, you're my good angel. My, 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 mine, mine, mine. All mine and no one else's. All mine to take care of and to tend to. To support, to love. <laughs> now come with me. I'm not going to keep you waiting any longer. Well, what are you waiting for, sweetie? There's more than enough room. <laughs> the two of us should spit nice and snug. <laughs> In the bed with me. Cuddling me. Doesn't that sound so good? There's a good little angel there, there. You're such a good angel. I love the feeling of your arms wrapped around me like this. Let me return the favor and gently wrap my arms around you just like this. Do you like that? <laughs> I bet you do. Because we were made for each other. But are you sure you're comfortable? Because I'm comfortable because I have a pillow. But you're not really resting your head on anything particularly soft. If you're just using my arms, so I'm worried about you. But I have an idea. Why don't you use my chest as a pillow? Mm -hmm. Lay your weary head on my chest, and I'll play around with your hair. There's no need to be shy. What's mine is yours. Everything. So just rest your head on my chest. I'd love it if you did that. <laughs> and you know, then your ears would be right next to my heart. You could hear the pitter patter of my heart, my heartbeat. <laughs> the beating of a heart that only loves you. The thump, thump of a heart that's so madly in love that it would do anything for you. Think about how close we could be. So won't you, sweetheart? 
Won't you be a good boy, good angel, and rest your head on my chest? Oh, sweetie, are you still too shy? <laughs> Is there anything I can do to change your mind? I know you'd love it if you just gave it a shot. Please, won't you? You'd be making me very happy. Happy enough to kiss you, even. Theoretically speaking. <laughs> well, I love how eager you are. I did mention the kiss really change your mind that easily? You're so easy to read. <laughs> but that's something that I love about you, sweetie. Just one of many things. I'm so glad you can just relax and loosen up around me. Just give in to me. Just love me so I can love you. There, there. It's okay. <laughs> we really weren't made for each other. I was especially made for you. I love you more than you could ever imagine. More than sleep. More than eating. More than breathing. More than life itself. <laughs> and I certainly love you more than anyone else loves you. No one appreciates you like I do. To everyone else, you're at best just a normal person. But to me, no, 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 no. You're special. You're my, my angel, my sweetie, my everything. You'll always be irreplaceable to me. No one will ever care for you like I do. If you were ever in need of anything, I would stop in a heartbeat. I would do anything for you. I'd sacrifice the world for you. I'd give an arm and a leg everything. No one can be as caring and as tender as I am for you. I'm the only one who feels like this about you. I'm the only one for you. I'm the only one, right? I'm the only one who's devoted to you, who worships you. I lost my old job for you. Do you think some normal guy off the street would do that for you? I'm the only one who loves you this much. No one else realizes just how important you are. No one else realizes just how special you are. You're my everything. I'm giving you my everything. <laughs> so... Do you think you could give me a little bit back as well? I'm not going to ask for much. <laughs> I'm not selfish. I'm doing this for you. I just, I, I want to care for you. And in order to do that, I need you to stay here with me where I can give you the proper care, tender care and love that an angel like you deserves. Not just an angel, a goddess or a god. A deity of pure, unchangeable power. <laughs> I mean, if you're not with me, you're going to be out on the streets, and we can't have that. You're too pure, too innocent. The other people out there are just going to exploit you. Take advantage of you. Hurt you. I'm the only one who can protect you. I'm the only one who keeps you safe. Cares about your happiness. Who makes you happy so stay with me forever and ever and ever that's that's best for you that's what's going to make you happy you can trust me i'll never betray you i'll never take advantage of you i only have your interests at heart sweetie <laughs> you just have to trust me is all you just have to give me a little trust that's all i'm asking for in return I will do anything for you. I'll take care of all your wants and needs, and I know a sweet person like you has a lot of needs. I have a few of my own. <laughs> it's really no bother, though. So stay with me. It'll be my honor to have you stay with me. Do you know what? To be completely honest, I know you're going to stay with me. Mostly because you're such a 
good angel. So there's no way you're going to stop being well mine. Right? But also because <laughs> I don't take chances. Yes, I'm very strong. And I keep a chain under the bed just in case. And I was waiting for this. I need to stop you from going outside. Well, you're just going to get hurt. Why do you look so terrified? Oh, sweetie. This chain? Don't worry. I promise. I'll take it on as... Well, I'll take it off of you as soon as I can trust you or I feel comfortable. Probably never. <laughs> but I know that you will earn it. Eventually, you'll build up the trust and you can take it off. You won't make me pin you down and chain you to this bed forever. Don't worry, you can still wander around the house, but I just don't want you to leave. <laughs> You're my good angel after all. So you won't stop now, right? <laughs> You'll stay with me, right? No matter what. Forever and ever and ever. Forever. Hello, my precious little darlings. If you like this video, please make sure to comment, like, and subscribe, right? You wouldn't not do that. You love me, so I'm sure you're doing it right now. And please do consider donating as it funds the channel and everything that I do. It also funds all the rope and uh, the knives and duct tape, but, uh, but still, <laughs> support me, darling. Oh, and make sure to check out my Patreon, which is oh, filled with so many spicy videos for my lovely viewers. Oh, and won't you please, please go check out my Twitter and my Discord, as it's filled with lovely little victims. So many of them. <laughs> make sure to join me the 15th. At 6 p.m., where I will be playing Resident Evil Village on YouTube streaming. Make sure to have a great day, sweetheart. And I want to give a big shout out to our tier three Patreon subscribers. Thank you to Ace Cries. And thank you to Ari. Remember, if you're a tier three Patreon subscriber, I can read out your name on every single video, so please, please, I love the support, and I'll take all the support you want to give, darling. Now have a great day, or should I say evening. See you around, sweetheart.